Who is somebody in your life that really motivates you? For me, it would be Brett Favre. Brett Favre is a professional quarterback who played in the NFL for 20 years. Brett Favre is a great role model and has affected many people's lives, both on and off the football field. I've been watching football for most of my life, and uh, Brett Favre has always been my favorite quarterback. Brett Favre, in my opinion, is the best quarterback of all time and has made multiple achievements. I will inform you of Brett Favre's childhood, his college years, and how well he did during the NFL. Brett Lorenzo Favre was born in Gulfport, Mississippi on October 10, 1969. Both or Brett Favre's names are Irvin and Bonita Favre. Both of his parents taught at Hancock North Central High School, where Brett Favre went to school. Um, in high school, Brett Favre played football and baseball. Brett earned five varsity letters in baseball, starting as an eighth grader. In football, Brett Favre played almost every position on the team. His father, Irvin, was his high school coach. Brett hardly ever threw the football in high school. This is because they had some decently good uh, running backs, and they mostly ran the wishbone formation. Next, I'll tell you about Brett Favre and his college years. When Brett Favre graduated high school, Southern Miss was the only school to offer him a Favre scholarship. He took it, and Southern Miss wanted Favre as a defensive back, but Favre kept his dream as playing quarterback. Favre started out as a seventh-string quarterback, but took over the starting position in the third game of the year. In that game, Favre led his team to a comeback victory. In his freshman year, Favre started ten games and won six of them. During his junior year of college, Favre and his team upset Florida State, who was ranked sixth in the nation. The timeline of Sports Illustrated says that Brett Favre's, before Brett Favre's senior year at Southern Miss, Favre was in a near-fatal car accident. He was driving around a corner less than a mile away from his parents' house and lost control of his car, which rolled three times and rested up against a tree. Favre's brother ran to the scene and smashed his car window to get Brett Favre out of the car. When the ambulance arrived, Brett and his mom was uh, loaded up to the ambulance. In the ambulance, Favre kept asking his mother if he'd be still be able to play football. At the hospital, <coughs> Brett Favre ended up with a concussion and cracked vertebrae. Six weeks after the crash, Favre was back out on the field. His first game back from recovery, Brett Favre led his team to a comeback victory over Alabama. In this PDF of Southern Miss Athletics, Favre continues to hold many records, which you can see over here. Brett Favre, Brett Favre, all those good guys. Uh, some of them include most career plays, most career total yards, most career passing yards, most career completions, and most career passing attempts. Brett Favre graduated Southern Miss with a teaching degree. Brett Favre had an incredible career in the NFL, and I will not tell you about it. To begin, the Atlanta Falcons drafted Favre in the 1991 NFL draft as the 33rd overall pick. Falcons coach Jerry Glanville didn't like Brett Favre at all. Favre's first pass in the NFL resulted as an interception returned for a touchdown. The Green Bay Packers traded with the Falcons the following offseason to bring Favre to the, into Wisconsin. Um, Favre played 16 seasons as a Packer. Brett Favre started out with a very tough couple games, but in the third game of the year, the Packers were playing the Bengals, and Green Bay's starting quarterback got hurt and was replaced by Brett Favre. Favre took his team and won the game with 13 seconds left when he threw the game-winning uh, touchdown pass. Brett put together a six-game winning streak that year. Favre finished his first season with a 9-7 record. In 1995, Brett won his first MVP <coughs> award. This year, Favre led his team to 11 and 5 season. The next season, Favre won his second consecutive MVP award. In 1997, Favre also won his first Super Bowl. Favre won his third consecutive MVP award that year, which is also a record. In 2001, Favre uh, signed an extension contract worth $100 million. In 2004, Favre and the Packers held the longest streak of non-losing seasons in the NFL with a record of 13 seasons. After Favre's death of a heart attack, Favre had a game of his life beating the Raiders. Favre passed for four touchdowns in the first half and a total of 399 yards that game, and a win of 
41 to 7 victory on the road. Also, 10 months after his father's death, Brett's brother in law, Casey, was killed in an all terrain vehicle accident. Soon after Casey's death, Deanna Farr, Brett's wife, got uh, diagnosed with breast, breast cancer. After recovering in 2004, she created the Deanna Hope Farr Foundation, which supported breast cancer education. In 2005, Farr's family home was completely destroyed by Hurricane Katrina, but none of his family members were injured. In 2007, Farr started breaking records. On September 30th, against the Vikings, Farr hit Greg Jennings with his 421st touchdown pass that broke Dan Marino's record of 420. On Thanksgiving in 2007, Favre threw his 63rd game with three touchdowns or more, um, passing up Dan Marino's previous record of 62 games. On March 4th, Favre formally announced his retirement, but this didn't last long. Favre then came back and wanted to play for the NFL on a different team. The Packers then traded Brett Favre to the Jets on August 7, 2008. His season with the New York Jets started out great. Towards the end of the season, the Jets started to slow down and Brett was having shoulder pain. Brett went in for an MRI on December 29, 2008 and got the report that he had a torn bicep tendon in his right shoulder. According to the Minnesota Vikings website, Favre then got traded to the Minnesota Vikings on August 18, 2009. Favre's first season with the Vikings was a 12-4 season and the team and Brett Favre advanced to the NFC Championship game where they lost to the New Orleans Saints, who later won the Super Bowl that year. Favre came back for one more season. The National Football League stated that his 20th season of the NFL, Favre threw 500 touchdowns and over 70,000 yards. On December 13, 2010, Favre ended, up with, Favre ended his consecutive start streak at 297 due to a sprained AC joint in his right shoulder. On December 20th, Favre and the Vikings played the Bears. During the game, Favre con suffered a con uh, concussion uh, against uh, Rocky Wooten. And this is a video of it. Show you. This is his last play. Come on, man. Second quarter, third score from the Chicago 48. Favre drops back. But Corey Wooten, the rookie, comes off the edge, and Favre stays on the ground. The question, would it be Favre's last, not only of the game, but ever? Well, Wooten goes down. That's where the Minnesota Vikings champions went also. Second and 10, Minnesota 15. Couple. That's where he suffered his concussion. Um, on January 17, 2011, Favre officially filed his retirement papers with the NFL. In conclusion, for these reasons, I think Brett Favre is the best quarterback that has ever played professional football. He has gone through many bumps on the road to get to where he was. He played his heart out every play. He did whatever he had to do to be the best that he could. He really showed the nation how good of a player he really was. Not only was Brett Favre a great quarterback, he still is a very generous and willing person.